So I just got to Nab, walking around, Peter McKinnon, Maddie. So I'm like, yeah, right. What's up, guys? How you doing? Oh, what's up, Peter? What's up, Maddie? Mm. How you guys doing, huh? Cool. Walking back, walking. Yeah, I did good. I did good. <laughs> What's up guys, how you doing? I'm back. So, today we're talking about something that I funded about eight months ago on Kickstarter. Um, it's a really cool product. Now, before we get into it, if you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Philip Scrubber. It'd be really cool if you know we're on 860 followers at the moment, subscribers, subs. Um, I wanna hit a thousand before like the first of Jan. That would be really awesome. Anyway, let's get back to what I funded. That's it, a switch pod. Comes in a nice yellow box and all that's inside is your switch pod. Now, the switch pod looks like this. Take a look at it. There you go, it's beautifully machined. Um, it's the top of it, it's got a bit of rubber here. It's, it's, yeah, and apparently you can open it, look really cool. And um, you can close it and look really cool. Um, it takes a lot of practice, as you can see, I'm not the best at it, but um, yeah. <laughs> now, you all know the Joby Gorilla Pod, which is this guy right here. And this is awesome, and I've been using it for ages, and it looks like this, um, the legs look like this, and everybody knows the Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, this is, I think, the X5, or what used to be the X5, with a X like head on it and it's um, it's awesome it's made out of metal and you can you know do a lot with it as you can see there's a slight difference in size I mean if you actually put the bull head on there'd be about the same height because the um, switch pod comes without a bull head the Joby Gorilla pod usually comes with a bull head though it doesn't need to and build quality this guy's all aluminium. Um, it's, it's, uh, let me just put him down for a sec. Damn boy! Um, it's aluminium. Um, everything is really kind of, yeah, it's, it's well made. It's just a piece of aluminium rubber. So it's, 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 it's very sturdy. This guy is like um, aluminium and rubber. So they're about the same. <laughs> There's really not much difference there. Um, now, build quality aside, because they're both brilliantly made. Um, features now like I said this this is something I think that a vlogger would use um, you, you Let's try that again oh. right. yeah okay I can't do that and it doesn't look good um, features this guy has got like a little handle here which perfectly fits your fingers so that's really comfy you can even hold it higher if you want um, it has a screw right here to screw your camera in, right there. And apart from that, there really isn't much to it. It's got a quarter twenties all around it on every single leg. So that's a really cool addition because you can put a light on it, you can put a microphone on it, you can put a little monitor on it, whatever you want. Um, so that's, that's a really great addition. It's got little rubber legs at the bottom. Um, and apart from that, it's got holes everywhere, so you can put some carabiners, hang it off yourself, you know, you're, you're backpacking, you can like hang it there on your backpack, and that's about it for the switch pod. Now, this guy, he's awesome, like, like I said, I think every YouTuber knows what this is about. The metal ones are extremely good, and metal kind of rubber, um, finish right here so you've got metal balls that are really tight and you've got rubber around them so they'll be able to latch onto anything you've got nice rubber legs so this thing does not slip and it usually comes with a bull head now the bull head is really really good really 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 good um i've never had a problem with the bull heads um and it's very 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 quick and easy to get on and off you literally just undo it put this on your camera so it's just a little a little thumb screw there. That's um, so it's 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 very simple, very easy to use, and um, there's actually 
nothing bad about it, especially the metal one. Um, especially if you're using a small camera like the Sony A7. If you're on like a 1DX Mark II or something, then you might have a few problems because this is not only a tripod, but if you get the legs, you bend them out, it's a YouTuber machine. So you've got your camera right there and you're YouTubing like, hey, what's up, what's up? Um, so that's really cool. Now, the only problem is, is that getting it back into place takes a bit of time. You have to fiddle with these legs. It gets a little bit annoying and it's not fast. But say you're out and about and you're a, um, you're a photographer or even a YouTuber and you wanna go out and you wanna film and that's what you can do, say they're rocks, say they're even higher. So getting this in the right position, where you want it, is fairly simple. Um, you kind of tweak the ball head, oof, and you're away. Um, so that's really cool. Um, you can almost do the same with this to a certain height, though your camera won't be straight. So you have to use a ball head, you'd have to take probably the ball head off your Joby or buy one. Um, when it gets higher and higher, as you can see, it's, that's, that's not stable at all. Um, that's like a downside of this. So that's why I'm saying this is great for vlogging, because you go out, you flip it in a cool way, on a table, you can vlog, hey, what's up, how you doing? Flip it back out, and you're off again to the races, you know. So, great tool. Um, the Joby has so many features, so even if you want to attach him underneath a table in some manner um, so that he kind of stands, um, I'm sure there are kind of ways of doing it. So he's attached to a table. So that's really cool. You can get him to attach to literally anything. Um, so you're out and about and you find a tree. So you attach it to a tree. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Whew, sorry. It's wonderful what the Joby GorillaPod can do. Now, like I said, it's, the only problem is, is when you say, for example, you stick a camera like this on and it's a little bit heavy, um, especially with 24, um, 70 GM, it's pretty quick to get on. So you just flip it on, you get him in here, tighten him up. Spin him around, and you're vlogging, right? Hey, what's up? You know, it holds pretty well, um, unless you're using one leg, then it's... That's the problem you have with this. It gets a little bit flimsy, especially over time, the balls... <sighs> they they kind of get used up. This guy, on the other hand, if you get him nice and straight, it really does not matter. I mean, you're out, you're vlogging, you know, what's up? It's a very comfortable position and it feels great. It'd be great to have a little bit of, I don't know, rubber here or something just so you feel a little bit more safe. Um, even if we're using one leg, you still feel great with this. And this is, this is a really heavy lens. So um, it's, like I said, they're both fantastic tools. Um, I've been playing around with the switch pod and it really is, it's great, it's fantastic. I feel really good vlogging with it, but it has its uses, just like the GorillaPod. These are um, two very similar tools, but completely different in a way. They're very similarly priced. Um, if I had to go for one of them, I really had to, somebody's pushing me, I'm afraid I'd go with the Joby, just because it has so many different ways of you know, using it out. In the, in the field and you know, even he's using a tripod on a tree. You can, you can just do hundreds of different things with it. If you wanna get this guy nice and low, you know, I mean, you're there. You, it, it takes a minute just to kind of set him up, but you're there, you're nice and low and you don't have to worry about anything. With this guy, you're kind of forced to use one position. So that's just my quick little talk about the switch pod and the Joby Gorilla pod. Don't get me wrong, this is a fabulous tool and I highly recommend it if you're out there and you're vlogging um, and you're not hiking or hanging your Gorilla Pod off trees. 
excellent tool, highly recommend it. Anyway, if you like my film, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, help me hit that thousand. And I'm gonna catch you on the next one. I'm vlogging, vlogging, walking. Okay, so I'm gonna be going this direction. Vlogging, hey, what's up, what's up? How you doing?